So you just got your brand new Pixel 4a phone set up, ready to use, but you're still left wondering what kind of additional settings you need to know and what exclusive features does this Pixel phone have compared to other phones available in the market? Well, in today's video, I'm gonna go ahead and show you additional settings to definitely check out. I'm gonna go ahead and show you those hidden features that this Pixel 4a phone can offer and some tips and tricks. This way, you're fully familiar with the phone and you get the most out of this amazing smartphone. Let's go ahead and get started. Starting off, let's just quickly go ahead and go over the gesture controls to make sure everybody's on the same page. This can be really new to some because some of the older Android phones that had like the shortcuts underneath, these newer ones do not. I will show you how to enable that if you want to reverse to that. But first, let me just go over the important basics. Lift up midway will launch multitasker and sliding from the corner to the top like so will bring up the voice assistant. That's what those lines were telling you. You can also slide from the bottom like this to switch between a previously open app so you can quickly jump back and forth and to close an app simply just swipe up. That's the basics. Swiping it in the middle from the screen and swiping down again will quickly bring down the control center and your, and your notifications. Now moving on to the exclusive features that's only found on the Pixel lineups of phones is one of which is the live captions by simply hitting the volume rocker you'll see this little box with a line in the middle. That basically means the live caption is currently turned off but when you tap on this it will enable the speak live detection caption. So now what this means, let's say for example, you're browsing through social media like on Instagram or Facebook and you see one of those like little pop-up video ads playing or an interesting video pops up that's playing, but there's no caption support. Using the internal software, it will be able to translate and give you those live captions right there on the display. And if you actually go through one of those videos, let's just use YouTube as an example, even though YouTube has its own captions as well. But it will actually give you this little window right here, which you are able to move around, place anywhere you want. So it doesn't intervene so much when you're watching your video and you can, and you can read alongside with the video so you know what exactly is happening. So that's an exclusive feature. Another exclusive feature can be found in the settings. If you go down and hit the little gear icon in the control center, type in now playing. Similar to Shazam, if you enable show song on lock screen, now whenever your phone is on standby mode, you have it in your pocket or something or just on a flat table and there's music playing nearby, the Pixel phone will identify the song automatically and not only that, will actually keep a history of it so you can actually go into your settings and go back and look through the songs that your phone picked up. So in case you're at a store and you really like a certain song, this way your phone will always have a list ready for you so you could go back and listen to that song later on and save it on your playlist. Then flip to shush is another feature that I should also cover. If you go into your settings just type in flip, you should see it right here flip to shush. If you enable this, by enabling this, let's say for example you're in a meeting, you're in a conference call or you just don't want to be disturbed, by simply placing the screen down, the phone will quickly vibrate to let you know that do not disturb mode has been enabled. But now, whatever your activity you're doing, your phone is going to be silent and it won't disturb you unless you flip over the screen. Now for the Pixel 4a, the battery life percentage, there is no battery life percentage that's showing by default. If you just got done setting up your phone, you, all you get is this battery icon. If you want to see the exact percentage, by simply just hopping into your settings, type in battery. And right here you'll see it on the fourth row battery percentage. By enabling this, now you actually see the exact battery life percentage of your device. Still in the settings, screen time off is another thing I recommend to adjust to your preference. What this allows you to do by simply typing in screen timeout, by default it's going to be left to 30 seconds. If you want to extend the time to 2 minutes, which is what I personally like using, now whenever your phone is just on the table and you're like taking notes or reading off the information that you see on the screen while writing it on your computer or something, this will extend the time so the phone screen doesn't automatically turn off. Now even though this display on this phone isn't massive compared to like an XL version, Pixel 4 or something like that, it still is a 4.8 inch display so it can be really hard to reach to some people if you're trying to get access to the control center, which is why I recommend checking out this next feature that you could enabled. If we quickly just go into our settings, on the search bar just type in swipe fingerprint and right here you will see this slide for notifications. When this is enabled, by simply sliding down on the fingerprint reader on the back, 
it'll actually swipe down the control center so you don't have to actually extend your thumb all the way on top of the screen to get access to this. Quick shortcut, check it out. It might make your life a lot easier. Now the power button on our device actually has access to a couple of shortcuts. If you simply hold down, you could tap here to quickly take a screenshot and also your Google Pay card right here if you have that set up. But not only that, if you double tap the power button, it will quickly take you to the camera. And then not only that, a cool gesture control, if you flip the camera like so, it will switch from front facing camera to the rear camera instantly like that. Then back in our control center, you, you can actually rearrange these by simply hitting the little pencil icon down below. And you can move things around if you want to put your hotspot there, invert color and all that stuff. I recommend personalizing your control center to make your life a lot easier. Next, if you're trying to multitask, even though this is a 4.8 display, it still has plenty of real estate space to multitask. You can actually run two applications at the same time. If you don't know how to do this, let's just quickly launch YouTube open up the multitask, tap on top, tap on split screen, and then open up the next app you want, let's just select this one, and this is how you can multitask on your Pixel phone. So you can literally have a video playing while you're typing up some documents or something underneath in the second screen. And to close it all, just hold down from the center and just bring down the app and it's back to that single app. And while we're playing a YouTube video, by simply swiping down and closing the app like so, you can actually move this little window around, which I'm sure we're all familiar with. The common controls you could do on this is tap to extend it a little bit. But if you double tap, it will actually bring you back to the app. Another useful setting to definitely check out, especially if you rely on your phone as a navigation device for your car. By going on the home page like so, and you press and hold, you tap home page settings. If you enable this part right here where it says allow home screen to rotate, now, whenever you have your phone on a dash, your display will rotate, so it makes navigating your phone, even in landscape mode, really easy. And in case you're not familiar how to enable dark, this dark theme that I have on my phone is really easy. Just go into your settings, go to display, and right here you should be able to see the setting right here to enable dark mode. It said that it helps to extend the battery since these are OLED displays. Uh, that means the black areas actually means the pixel is turned off so it could reserve some battery life to give you a little bit extra juice throughout the day. But in my personal opinion, I just use this because I think it's just more pleasant to look at in my opinion, having the dark pixels turned off, especially at night. Then back in control center there's also a night shift. And uh, what this basically allows you to do is disable the blue light so you can go sleep faster. If you press and hold, you can actually customize a schedule so I could do it automatically so if you haven't done this yet definitely do experiment with this schedule to help you go sleep faster now the pixel 4a does have a fingerprint reader just like the 3a and what I recommend everybody to at least do in case you skipped it on the setting process is register additional fingers this could be the same exact finger to prevent any reading issues but I recommend registering as many fingers as you want and it could be somebody else's like a, a significant other somebody you could trust that you don't mind also having access to your device then in addition to that another thing I recommend checking out is the keyboard itself by hitting this little gear icon right here here not only can you actually change the theme of your keyboard if you want to have it a different color like you don't like this the default color you can change it here you could download some additional themes or actually import some of your personal ones but above here I also want to show you this as well if you go into your preference and see where it says number row enable this and now whenever your keyboard pops up you have the full number row right there I don't know why it's not like that by default but I think this is better because it actually saves you time instead of having to switch to the number row manually by tapping down here now as promise, in case you're not a huge fan of this gesture, don't worry, even though you are going to be losing the real estate space of this already amazing screen, but there is a way you can reverse back in case you just can't get the hang of these gesture controls. And to do this, simply just go back in your settings and just type in navigation. And right here where it says gesture controls, just check mark the three button navigation. And there you go. You no longer have those gesture controls. You revert it back to the classic Android layout. And there you guys have it, that is basically all the important things that there is to know about your brand new Pixel 4a. If you're curious what kind of smartwatch I'm using, this is a Fossil smartwatch, I went ahead and review it. In this video, it's amazing, it works perfectly fine on Android, and I absolutely love the look of this thing. So if you would like to find out more on what this hybrid smartwatch can do, 
go ahead and check out this video. Then this video over here, that's just a video that YouTube is suggesting specifically for you. Feel free to watch it. Or again, thank you so much for watching. Take care and I'll catch you all in the next one. See ya.